Good evening, everyone. I am so happy to be having dinner with you tonight. And I'm even happier that my great friend and mentor, Ms. June Jones, is running for councilwoman at large in Jersey City. Um, oh, gotta turn the label around, right? We don't know. But I'm ready to party already. And thank you all for coming out and honoring my friend. Uh, I first met June when she was breaking ground on on uh, Pacific Landing, I think the name of, of it was. And I was building Glenview Townhomes for Jersey City Housing Authority um, at the time. And I went to her groundbreaking. And after that, I uh, began to meet with her for other projects. Um, I strongly recommend that you vote for June for Councilwoman at Large. One is because she'll never be anyone's rubber stamp. Um, you can ask Sam, right? <laughs> she'll never be anyone's rubber stamp. Two, um, she's always gonna tell you the truth. Uh, you can ask me. Um, as far as other things that I know about her and why she should be um, on the city council and have that much control of the council is because I've watched her take care of the community, um, not just from the cleanups and uh, planting tulips. I learned, I learned to plant tulips in the winter with her. Uh, we were beautifying parks and uh, different complexes of the Jersey City Housing Authority. Um, this went on for years. Um, what other things that we've done? Um, the skate park. I never told her this. This is going to be funny that you all are hearing it now. That uh, my son, um, he was skating um, on the classic skate park for the uh, skate park in uh, Bayonne. They were losing their skate park. And um, at the same time, Bill Benson and another friend of mine, we, uh, we brought uh, something to uh, Ms. Jones. Uh, about all of how how big skating is, and we 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 gave her the numbers on it, and she actually incorporated that in Berry Lane Park, and that's why that skate park is here today because um, the skaters throughout Jersey City, for even from A Street and the old one on, on the Liberty State Park, um, they they all came together. Even Six Sixty, everyone. Um, came together with Ms. Jones and created that point. Um, I, I know numerous things that she's done. The uh, Lafayette Learning Community Garden was the platform and is probably, uh, I would say, I would, I would say that that garden flourished the art community in Jersey City. A lot of the artists who did those walls inside of the Lafayette Learning Community Garden they didn't know that uh, uh, Ms. Jones had that much um, view in the city. And when the city saw those things get done, I mean, I saw murals go up everywhere exponentially after that garden. And um, we actually did a couple after that. You know, I watched some buildings and everything. So... You know, it's it's been amazing to see Jersey City flourish so much, and I know firsthand that she's partially um, accountable for a lot of that growth. Um, I've watched. This is when I thought she was crazy. This is the funniest part. Um, me being a young builder, everybody knows I own Beavis Building, and um, before I moved my company here to Florida and I think in Jersey and Florida at this at this moment. Uh, uh, she shut her own site down. I don't know how else to put it. She shut her own site down for the contractor. The general contractor that she hired was out of compliance. She shut her own site down for being in non-compliance for not enough minority workers being there, not enough minority contractors there. And she did that, you know, and actually had a job fair and made a job fair at the uh, Bethune Center um, so people could be involved with this money that's being dispersed in our communities. So th the reason why I think that she should 
uh, be on the council is because it shows. It shows that it should be someone from our community that has our community interest in hand. So vote for June Jones, the city council at large, Jersey City. Thank you. I'm gonna eat dinner now. <laughs>